Now to new details on the severe turbulence uh, that really sent more than a dozen people to the hospital after a flight from Phoenix to Honolulu. An investigation is now underway as millions get ready to fly for the holiday. ABC's Gio Benitez has more. This morning, an investigation underway after a flight from Phoenix to Hawaii hit severe turbulence. Do we have any doctors, nurses? Dramatic new videos capturing the chaos. Oh, Passengers and flight attendants tossed around, some hitting their heads on the overhead compartments. 13 sent to the hospital, seven with serious injuries. We started free falling for like five to 10 seconds. During that free fall, I was really scared. I thought it was the end. The kind of turbulence that causes these injuries is when air is moving vertically so that the airplane moves up and down and people become actually weightless and bounce off the ceiling, which causes these terrible injuries. Now the National Transportation Safety Board is investigating, speaking with GMA overnight. We have our meteorologists who are looking at the weather event itself, which is really focused on how do you prevent these type of injuries from occurring. One of the injured, a 14-month-old child. While we don't know how the child was injured, the NTSB reminds passengers holding children in your lap on a plane is not safe. The safest place your child can be is there in their own seat, which would be a booster or car seat. And the Hawaiian flight wasn't the only incident. A United Airlines flight from Rio to Houston also hit turbulence. Two passengers and three crew members ending up with minor injuries. 